Good evening to you, bro. Good evening, bro. How are you today? I'm all right. <laughs> How about you? I'm trying to be okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Another beautiful night of football. Look at how you're looking, looking at me. Well, um, the truth of the matter is that Chelsea came to Anfield for one reason. <laughs> for one reason. <laughs> and that reason was to get beaten, to get cooked, to get uh, humiliated, okay? But there is something, something, something that happened today that uh, uh, weakens my heart and uh, makes me cry um, right now. Reason, why would you have such class of players in Chelsea? Individual class, okay, by the way. And you cannot defend the ball. You cannot put your body on the line. I saw Chelsea players calling the other, calling their colleagues, go and, go, 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 go and block the ball. Eh? For what reason? And you just keep wondering, why would... Hey, why would they close spend so much money on these guys? These guys are, are, making, are making so much money. And you cannot just put your body in... in. I beg, let them call me now. Let them hit me in the whole shot. All the whole shot that uh, was this the minute um, hit the wood, wood, uh, woodwork on. Four times hitting the woodwork for the first time in donkey years, I think 21 years or thereabouts, that one player will hit the woodwork for four times. And that's not the only shot. Liverpool had 13 of them in, 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 in uh, as in, sorry, 13 of them on target today alone. Now, what about the young boy, Bradley? Well, today it's not about Chelsea, it's not about Liverpool, it's not about club. It is about this new revelation, Connor Bradley. How can you just, outside the Blues, you are having six goals and assists in four matches? And today alone, a big side. Oh, a big side, a big side like Chelsea. Why do I call them big side? Because at least they are managing around 10th position. But mind you, by the time Wolves plays their game, Chelsea is around at 29 points, if I'm not mistaken. By the time Wolves plays their game and wins, Chelsea will drop down to 11th place, minimum. The minimum place that they can drop down, okay? But then, big ups to Bradley. Bradley came in today and he was on fire as usual, scoring one goal and assisting two times. So you just begin to wonder, Liverpool is so good, is so good, is so good, and all of a sudden, we are seeing a young lad just coming out. And I think it's now history that uh, Trent will not play that right back position again. Okay, my Trent might just be a midfielder, might just be introduced into the midfield or somewhere else because this guy has collected that space. And come to think of it, this guy is fresh. This is the second half of the season. And you have such a young lad with so much energy and he's producing results for you. You want him to go and sit down at the bench? No, no. You have to play him. Club, he, club is more like handicapped right now. He does not have any other choice than to play this young lad week in, week out. At least, if not for any other thing, for the, for the Premier League. He has to play. So, so just also imagine um, with the white words that has happened to Chelsea today, um, I, I, I don't, okay, right now, I will, it will be so difficult for Arsenal to beat Chelsea this weekend at the Emirates. It has to be, I don't know, I don't know where Ateta is going to get one, the courage to the technicality, and then gathering the Gunners together to beat Liverpool with what I saw today. Yes, when we also say that Chelsea really uh, gave up on time, but then you also wonder when they scored that, that their first goal, when it, be, it, it became 3 1, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe the game might just end maybe 3 2. I wasn't expecting Liverpool to just come back immediately and, and uh, score and making the, the goal line so difficult for, for Pochettino and his men to come back. Okay. <laughs> Um, the things that is happening in Chelsea right now, I don't know. At the time, we just begin to wonder what is really wrong. Okay? Um, but I also pity the coach, Poch, because uh, uh, Poch might not just survive to the end of the season as, as it is going. And mind you, Chelsea started, started oh, Chelsea, well, Chelsea has been very inconsistent. But then Chelsea started the year on a very good 
point. Uh, remember our video the other time that Chelsea won, and we were like, oh, come on, Chelsea has won the first match in 2024. And we were like, okay, it will continue. But what, what we have seen today has shown that this team lacks a lot. A lot is not happening for them. Yes, just imagine, we are crying, Nkuku should come back, Nkuku should come back. The young man has also tried today and scored, the, and scored one. And you just begin to wonder too, what is happening to Kopama? Is it that Kopama is just too inconsistent? What about Kaiseido? Hey, he's not looking like um, Brighton um, had to uh, trick Chelsea in, for them to go and buy Kaiseido for such ridiculous amount of money. You cannot buy such a player that you cannot put your body inside the, 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 the run of play. Somebody wants to sh shoot and you cannot dive in. Remember in the days of Kante? Remember in the days of Makalele? How can you just be shooting short and these people will just be looking at you or be dodging their body or just be, be guiding themselves? In this generation, in this time, it does not make sense in any way, my brother. So, these are the issues here. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't even, um, uh, will I say, have that hope that Chelsea might make it to the Conference League this season. Yes, a whole lot of things is happening. Even the smaller boys that you think that they are, are not doing well. Everybody is dragging that Conference League at least. Let them grab it and they see themselves in, in Europe come uh, after this summer. But then, it has happened. <laughs> what else can we say than to just wait for the <laughs> for the season to keep going and be giving us uh, uh, the goodies it, it usually gives us? Yeah. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, bro. Thank Have you. a wonderful night, Thank rest. You, bro. you too.